describe my experience. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dian. I come from Indonesia. Hi, this is Gulzara Aman. I'm from India. I'm Sponi Lelanga. I'm from South Africa. I'm Zeben, Zeben Tahira. And I'm from Dhaka, Bangladesh. My name is John Joel and I'm from India. Hi, my name is Rina. I'm from Indonesia. My name is Vakar and I am from Pakistan. Hi, I'm Gladys. I'm from Ghana. Hi, my name is Ali and I'm from Yemen. Uh, I'm Shada, I'm from Turkey. This is a wonderful experience in United States. This place is awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Life changing. It's really magical. Exciting. Challenging. I think food was a biggest surprise for me because I never expected this thing like in this world people don't use spices in this food. Americans please use spices. <laughs> that every state is different. The people from Northwest side, they are very polite and they are awesome. I thought that uh, most of American is rich, but when I came here, most of them are also struggling with life and, and some of them even end up being a homeless. It's like a normal life, like uh, everywhere in the world. People have families, they have jobs, and. Not everyone have big fancy cars. The stereotype is that Americans are very individual, simplistic, and they don't really care about their family. Or they do, but they're not that attached as more of the Eastern cultures. But when I had dinner with my uh, French family, I saw that she, uh, she may have not seen her brother for maybe like six months, or seen her mom or her dad in like a year. But they come together and they talk about things. And it's just like a it's just like how it happens in my country. There's not much of a difference. All the people are kind and friendly. Uh, because before that, I heard that American is individual. But you go to one part of the United States and people are different. They speak differently, they interact with others differently, and I found that to be interesting, and I like that. It's just, it's just so much diversity, it's a melting pot in itself. And I love to meet with different people. I thought that American would be really like straightforward, like just like work, not talk to people, and like not friendly at all, or like just care about them, themselves, their in groups and stuff. But uh, I am surprised that I have friends in America more than I have back in Yemen. I found out that American people, not all of them are known of the other countries. So we as an international student, we help them to know about our countries to exchange culture and activities that we are called during our time here. I like the friendly nature of people surprised me. And the teacher was so cooperative and then um, I learned a lot in the class. But it was very easy. I, I never get our 65% marks in my country. But now in my class, I'm getting 98%, 96%. So it's, it's the uh, schooling system, it's education system, and the teacher that give us uh, daily homework. This, this is a very good thing and it surprised me that how teachers are personally involved in each student. Uh, I was surprised with the communication way of the lecturer and student, which is so informal. I mean, the student can talk easily to the teacher and also teacher can share idea and so they care to the student. The traffic, like the cars, they are stopped for me and like I can cross the road. The weather. Uh, in my country, people don't really keep track. Oh, it's sunny outside. You look out the window. Oh, it's cold out. Uh, it's rainy. You look out the window. But here, so much is dependent on weather. Like when I went to Boston or New York or even DC, we just look up the weather and see whether it's going to be something that we would like or not. So the whole preparing yourself what might come instead of just going at it without information. Yeah, uh, that's what's surprised me a lot here. Like you cannot come in here with just one um, way of doing things that you're gonna get here and you're just gonna go to school. You're gonna find out that as much as you have to go to school and you have to work, you also need to have fun. 
people trying to be nice by smiling at strangers and being friendly with strangers and helping them as well. Where I'm from, we don't do that. It's kind of weird if you see, just see a stranger and you smile at the person. But here, I've experienced it and it's good. Yeah. Bellingham is a very uh, nature orientated place. I like the fact that there's hiking, that there's a mountain that you could go to and you can snowboard here and it's and then there's a lake you can jump into. Nature, it's like uh, it's it looks like almost looks like my hometown. So it's like green, rainy and um, the area also looks like mountains, so I kind of don't feel I'm really far away from my home. It's surrounded by mountains, just like my village, my hometown. Uh, it's like evergreen, everywhere you can find trees. And here in Bellingham, Mount Baker, I can see how it is. And Mount Baker is my, my, I love mountains. Mount Baker, because I can see and touch directly the snow, which is, I never, never do that. I love the fact that it's a city that has both the ocean and the mountains right next to each other. Where you can just walk over like the boardwalk and it's right on top of where the docks are and the pier is. And now I'm here in the skiing in the mountain. It's all in one city and that doesn't really happen. My favorite thing about Bellingham is the weather. Not too hot, not too cold. The same like my hometown. I feel like home. Weather, especially summer, is pretty awesome. I like the weather. I like the fact that most days it's cold and then other days it's warm. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot I like. Washington is an evergreen state, so everything is green and beautiful here, and Bellingham is peaceful. I like it. Here it's very calm and peace here, and I like it. I probably guess my favorite thing is people. They are very gentle with us and they always support us and when, when we speak something wrong uh, it doesn't matter we don't feel uncomfortable to speak with them they try to help each other whenever you get lost or something yeah and how they donate and help the community the people like I love like how they treat each other how they treat each other students and I love the way that there are so many exchange students. When I come here, I see and I meet people who always ask me, do you need any help or something like that? Even like bus drivers, like <laughs> they all are there to support you and help you. Nobody's rude. And I love everybody here. The most happy in US is meet all people from around the world. When I think about myself, I become so happy. I feel so happy that I get here. I speak English now with Americans. That's the best thing. Hanging out with my friends and um, like this event, like here we are snowboarding and sliding and those things. Yeah, so I'm very happy because I'm here. Being here, like um, selected in this program, is kind of a lucky for me. Like a thing, like really good opportunities not only now in this time but for my future too. sunshine I miss it sometimes and being grateful it can get hard but when you wake up with a grateful mindset in the morning that this is a good day it will be a good day and that makes me happy snowboarding <laughs> I think snow uh, sports I discovered today, uh, I think snow sports makes me very happy. Dancing. I've learned how to salsa dance in Bellingham so far and it's like even when I'm sad or down or I'm hungry or anything, I just start dancing and feeling the music and it just makes me feel a whole lot better. The support that I get from every person I meet and, and that everybody is willing to help me, everybody is willing to, to be part of of my experience here no matter who they are. Everything is it's easy to accept and go along with and I really have to thank the people in the college and my friendship family and everybody else around me that have such a positive attitude. To be uh, the part of this program. <laughs>